I'm Nicole Jefferson. Um, I'm the parent of three children and Alana Jefferson uh, in particular who is a special needs five-year-old and we are currently in Roswell, Georgia. I'm very excited to be expecting the third child and um, because I had two prior C-sections, um, of course I knew going into this pregnancy that I would be having another C-section. One day I noticed that Alana was not moving as, you know, much as she had been because she was a very active child in utero. So I reached out to uh, the um, nurse and uh, she told me to just kind of, you know, monitor things, wait for a little bit. Um, but then uh, she did call me back and indicate that I should go on to the um, you know, ER at the time. All of a sudden realized that there were a storm of folks who just kind of came into the room. I, heard a doctor in the back say code red, code red. Of course, in my mind, I knew that code red was not a good thing. So I was wondering what was going on. I was visited by the doctor who was just saying, I'm so, so sorry, um, you know, this happened. Um, myself, my husband at the time, and my family, my parents, we were all confused as to what the status of Alana was. Well, um, I was directed to the to the uh, NICU about an hour later, and I then realized that she something happened, and so I was told um, that she lost oxygen for about 15 minutes. They tried to, of course, bring her back. She had already passed, and they were successful in bringing her back, but she was on life support, and that she suffered a brain injury, um, and then a formal diagnosis came. She was a child who had cerebral palsy. It wasn't until um, about a month or two later, my mother-in-law at the time mentioned that she was watching a, a television program and saw uh, advertisement for a lawyer um, who took cases for families whose children uh, may have been affected by medical uh, malpractice um, and as a result, you know, have a birth injury uh, such as cerebral palsy. And so um, she, you know, talked with Lisa it was a pleasant experience. I think one of the things for me that really sealed the deal, her saying to me, you know, like this is, we just approach it like an assessment. You know, we're just gonna look at the documentation. We're gonna look at the medical files. We're gonna look at everything and just see. Um, and I thought that was a win-win because we couldn't lose. You know, if it was something there that she thought um, represent us, great. If not, at least we knew um, either way whether, you know, what happened to Alana was, you know, just unfortunately a traumatic situation or if it truly was um, at the hands of a doctor uh, who was negligent. Um, we wanted to know more and so we, you know, lay with Lisa for, uh, for three and a half years, almost four, you know, um, with the case, um, trying, you know, to, uh, you know, get things resolved you know, just trying to understand the logistics and she was great the whole time. And then we were able to settle the case. We went to mediation, you know, with the hospital and the doctors involved and we were, you know, able to come to a resolution a little bit, um, a month or so after the mediation. And um, Lisa walked us through every, you know, step of the process, mediation. Before we started, she went through every, you know, what it was gonna be like, you know, what, what we could expect. Um, even when it was over, the next steps of choosing the trust company and, you know, um, what, you know, what that process would entail. She, you know, gave us the best companies and, you know, she was there to walk us through that process. Um, and so now we're on the, you know, end of, we have the trust, Alana, you know, has the financial, um, you know, needs that, you know, the financial means to get the things that she needs and we're able to, you know, to have a house for her and a van for her, which we, we needed desperately. And um, Lisa has become a part of our family, you know, and uh, she's just excellent at what she does. And we are forever grateful for her friendship and for her support and just for, and honest for her honesty. She, she kept it real from the beginning. Uh, she's just a stand up gal and we love her and uh, we're, we're appreciative of everything that she's done. So I would just like to thank Lisa and Grant and Isa Heifer for all their work and um, all of their support during this process and helping us to um, win the case.